Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today's video is mainly focused on one of the most expensive endgame upgrade, and that is going to be the legendary card. Additionally, this video, guys, is based on the legendary card, guys, written by Curryvox back in 2019. Everything that you see here in this video, which includes the success chance, the materials, but alternative option to upgrade the legendary card will be still relevant to his written guys in 2019. So if you're interested, I will provide the link in the video description below so you can check it out. As of right now, there are over 15 legendary cards available in the game right now, which include the Melor Monarch, Blood, Zora, Noel, Hellgas, Rexifer, Mythis, Pantorex, SEO Mage, Wastrels, Ignis, and so on. There is two infamous legendary cards, and that is going to be the Burrata one as well as that Guilty one. I will cover that later on because we need to focus on how to get the material but also upgrade the legendary car. Now the first thing you need to do is actually unlock the legendary car slot. There are two ways to do it. The first method is going to be completing the quest line in the following as you can see here. And the second method is buying the legendary car slot voucher from the market. Additionally, the price of the legend car slot and lock vouchers are varies based on the server. Some server will have higher prices compared to what you see here on the screenshot. This is actually the capital prices which go around 1 million up to 5 million silver. So if you have some extra silver go around and you don't want to do the quest, then you can just buy the voucher. But if you don't, then I just recommend doing the quest line instead. Once your character unlocked the legendary car slot, the next thing you need to do is actually obtain a legendary car. There are a few ways to get it. The first one is going to be the Unique Ray. Some Unique Ray drop legendary car. For example, the former Fantasy Library dropped the Demolore Fossil Car, which is really good for summoning. And then we have the Legend Ray, such as the Tom of the White Crab, which dropped the Unbound Sea Eclipse Car, which gives you an insect damage. And we also have the White Wish and so on. Now, that would be the first option. The second option would be the total damage reward from the weak boss ray, as you can see here. 200 million, 500 million, and so on will give you the Shining Demolore Cube box these shining demon lord cube box do have a chance of dropping a legendary card of your choice so if you choose your monarchs and you open them you have a chance of getting a demon lord monarchs on to the third option this is actually optional you don't have to do this one you can actually get the legendary bow card from the episode 10 quest line which cleared it and once you get this i do not recommend using this card because this card is probably the most useless card in the game right now because all it does is provide you extra experience under the level 50 team Going into the full option, which is the last option, if you cannot get any legendary card from the first two method, then I would recommend trying this out. The third method is pretty straightforward, by the way, because all you have to do is clear episode 10 quest line. Now, I totally understand that some new player or return player does not have silver to buy legendary card. That is understandable. You can always come back to grab the legendary card for the market because the price will continue to be lower, lower, and lower because there are so many supply but less demand. Anyway, there are a few legendary cards that I do recommend for your build. The most general DPS legendary card is going to be the Demon Monarchs. This card will give you minimum crit chance, 2% per level, and 20% as the maximum level. Let me give you a quick breakdown how the minimum crit chance works. If your character has 5,000 crit rate and you're trying to land a crit rate against 10,000 critical resistance monster, your chain is very slim, which is equivalent to zero. However, having a Demon Lord Monarch's card will always provide you crit chance because it's the minimum crit chance. So you have two separate rows of crit chance, you will have your actual crit chance and you have a minimum crit chance. Minimum crit chance will always provide you a crit chance no matter how much critical resistance enemy have. So for example, if you have 0% crit chance and you have 20% minimum crit chance, you will always have 20% chance of landing a critical attack against super high critical resistance monster or bosses. Next, we have Demon Lord Blood Card. This one is well known and well used in PvP content like Gem Fuse, GTW, and TBL. This one gonna give you 3% damage reduction in PvP per level and per star. So genuinely, if you love to do PvP, then I do recommend using the Demon Lord Blood Card. And the next two is gonna be Demon Lord Zora and Demon Lord No Else. I think it's more situational depending on what kind of boss you're fighting, especially for Joint Straight Ball, but also Wicked Boss Ray. If anything, Guillotine does a lot of magic damage, so I do recommend using demon lord noel next we have a very special type of legendary card and that is going to be the attack against specific type for example like scales clip attack against intact so this is not actually the flat values this is actually the percentage values of the flat value itself so as you can see here i have roughly 1850 again attack specific types for our type 
Now, in order to equip the legendary card, which you can do that by clicking the right click, and they'll give you an option to consume silver without reducing its level. This is actually really an idea, and you definitely want to do this as well. So again, click on that, and it'll remove the card for you, and you can go ahead and equip this card. And once you equip that, if you already noticed that I got over 6,000 attack against insect type and increased my damage by around 46%, which is super high by the way. This is generally the best way to increase your damage output against Wicked Boss Ray because Legendary Card does not count toward 400% damage bonuses. So with this, you can actually break 400% damage cap to boost your damage further against a specific type. Additionally, there are other cards that also affect the same things as the insect types. For example, like Glacier give you extra attack against mutant type with a flat values. And we have the Avatar's card and then Tell Harsha card. The only card that does not have this effect is got to be the Heretic Pantorex card. This one is going to give you a straight up percentages. For example, 7% attack against speed per star level. So if you have a level 10 for Pantorex, it's going to be 70% straight up, which is really good by the way. Just in case, I'm not going to cover every single legendary card in this video because that would take forever. If anything, I just want to give you guys a very specific information on which card that you should upgrade. If you're a DPS, either magic or physical, then you would go for Demon Lord Monarchs. Minimum creature is super super nice for endgame by the way, especially against boss with super high critical resistance like Guilty and any other endgame contents like Hotbug but also Hot Witch. Demon Lord Blood is always good for PvP, Demon Lord Zora and Noel is based on very specific type. If you're fighting against boss with high physical damage, then you definitely want to use Zora. If you're fighting against boss with high magic damage, then you definitely want to use Noel. Alrighty, so going into the last two cards is going to be Boros the card but also Guillotin card. In order to craft Guillotin card, you need a level 10 Boros the card with any level 10 legendary card plus 10x Glimpse of Chaos. Glimmer Chaos is only obtainable in Guillotine Ray, which is super hard in my opinion. The drop rate is really rare by the way because nobody has Glimmer of Chaos right now unless you are very lucky to run Guillotine Ray. Also, Borja Card is obtainable in Borja Ray, so that is another part where the luck and RNG involved. In my past experience with the Borja Rays, I have never gotten a single Borja Card, so that would be extremely hard to even get the card itself. If anything, the only way to get it right now is when IMC hosts an event with a TCA cube and it had a chance to give a board the car so if anything that is pretty much the only way to obtain board the car right now going into the upgrade process now just to be clear i just want to make sure that you guys have decided which legendary car that you want to upgrade because the upgrade process is super super expensive there are a few items that you need the first one is going to be the merge batches you need a ton of merge batches to upgrade this process there are a few ways to do it you can actually use the boss card to upgrade another boss card to level 10 or you can get the level 10 enhancement card which is a total of 54 card for 3.5k batches which is super nice in my opinions and you also use this card to upgrade the legendary enhancement card to upgrade the folder card now the folder card is going to be the legendary card legendary cards you are going to need a lot of them just to be clear there are a few type of the legendary enhancement card there is the rip one there is the old one there is a legendary enhancement card which can buy for the market for a super low price based on the leticia's cube or whenever there's a ton of supplies on the market and there is the shiny legend enchantment card each card can go up to a certain level like level 8 and level 10 for the shiny legend one and it's gonna be level 8 for the legend one and then i believe the old one's gonna go up to level 6 and then the rip the one go up to level 4. By the time you have all the material that you need to upgrade a legendary car, the next thing you need to do is actually talk to the magic associate NPC and purchase Bellor. You need Bellor to upgrade your legendary car. You need at least 2 Bellor from level 1 to level 2, 3 Bellor for level 2 and 3, and so on. And you definitely need a ton of those. Now for level 1 to level 2, you need 1 legendary car and 2 boss level 10 car. So this way you're gonna get 100% success chance without failing the legendary car. Another option you can do is for level 5 boss car which is 25% each. On to the level 2, it's going to be the level 2 legend card with 4 level 10 boss card. That'll give you 100% success chance to get level 2 to level 3. Make sure you have 3 bell already to upgrade the cards. Additionally, there is no alternative for this one because 4 level 10 is going to be 25% each. 
Next, you are going to prepare at least three level four legend enhancement car. Each legend enhancement car level four require at least six level ten enhancement car, which you can purchase just from the mercenary bat shops. If anything, I recommend this rose. It will be easier to upgrade level three to level four. Now, on to level four, you actually need three level four legendary enhancement car and one level ten boss car. That will give you one hundred percent success chance to get it to level four. However, there are other options, but I personally find this option to be much better in terms of cost effective compared to other solutions that was provided by Crevox. On to level 4 to level 5, there is actually two solutions for this one, but I personally picked solution number 4 from Crevox guys. This one is more favorable in terms of cost effective because I don't want to waste extra silver to buy another legend photo car for solution number 3. Solution number 3 is actually more favorable depending on how much silver you're gonna invest. But if anything, I do rather waste the mercenary badges to upgrade the legendary enhancement car. Going into level 5 into level 6 is going to be at least 4 legendary photo car. Two of them have to be level 4 and two of them have to be level 3. I personally find solution number 2 to be more effective because we have a ton of supply, ton of legendary car on the market. So it's better to use solution number 2 compared to solution number 1. Unfortunately, I don't have unlimited resources to get level 1 to level 10 right away in one video. However, starting from level 7, I recommend going for solution number 1. It will be much easier in terms of cost effective compared to solution number 2 because number 2 requires at least 3 level 5 legend cards and getting level 4 to level 5 is like super super expensive. Now on to level 8, it's going to be 3 level 6 legend car and 1 level 5 legend car. Pretty straightforward, that's a pretty good deal. Level 9 is going to be 4 level 7 legend car, which is pretty good by the way because level 7 is pretty easy to make. And lastly, going into level 10, it's going to be super expensive because you need 2 level 9 legend car and 2 level 8 legend car. That is going to be a lot of silver sink but also investment in mercenary badges to upgrade your legend car. That is why you need to choose which legend car that you want to go into level 10. If you're looking for a super high end game then I recommend going for Boruta. Boruta can be upgraded into guild team which is going to give you more boss damage compared to the majority of the car. However, if you're going for the crit build, something like heavily crit dependence then I would recommend the Demon Lord Monarchs. And pretty much that is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this title content, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. My name is Sato G and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.